Yo, what up y'all boys? It's your boy Get Lamar back with another video. And if y'all boys came over from TikTok, go ahead and drop GLC in the comment section. That's for my Get Live crew members. But today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all the best defense in Madden 25. Now, first I am in the Ravens defensive playbook. This is the very unique formation in the Ravens playbook. And the formation is quarter overload. And the play I like to run is cover zero blitz. Y'all boys know I'm a defensive menace. I like to send that pressure. Let's go ahead and pick them boys a random play. So something like this, I would use her, the, run, the man that's manned up with the running back and sit right here. And of course, this looks like a passing formation. That's what I'm guessing, a passing play. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass commit. So press R1 and flick up the pass commit. And y'all boys will see how this pressure. Look at this come. Boom, easy. Depending on what quarterback I'm playing, sometimes I might QB contain, but if I want that pressure just to go straight there. Now, when they go empty, I'm not going to lie, it is tricky because you have to put everybody where they're supposed to be. Then I would just use her right here, even though, but y'all have, listen, listen, user, the tight end, the man that's on the tight end, come here down in the box where I'm at, but you have to guard the tight end, but it's just helping the pressure. That's why I like to do this. So let's go ahead and play it out. Boom, look at that. Crazy. Crazy. It's no time. I'm telling y'all, boys, this is the best defense that goes crazy. And then sometimes I'll run it like this, too. Depending on my opponent, if they don't see it, the running back out there open and you run it like this, just keep running it. But if they catch on and start like throwing him on little hitches or curls, then that's when you have to move that safety. I'm going to show y'all, boys, how it would look like this. Screen, boom, easy. Because they will never know because it looked like you're playing his own, but really you're a man the whole time. This right here, you could bring him down, bring him in the box. Now you're mad with the running back. So if the running back releases, you got him. If he doesn't release, you just go ahead and the user, go ahead and get a lurk in. Shed him, boom, read it. That's all y'all boys have to do is read it. And I'm telling y'all boys, y'all boys, it's going to be great. If I wanted to, I could play him high right there, make it look like a zone. So this is how I would read this. I'm looking at the running back first. If I see him, if he does not move, like if I see him not going out for a route, I'm going to immediately go to the tight end just so it could give time for my safety to come down. So I would just run out like this. Then as soon as my safety come down, I'll come back over the middle to cover whatever's there. So let's see how this plays out. Running back doesn't release. Make sure you don't run no out route, no zig, no nothing, and we good. Pressure there, boom. I'm telling y'all, boys, y'all just have to have the IQ and awareness. This right here, you can either sit behind the D tackle or right here. But look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people on the line. If I wanted to come and blitz, I can. They only have six blockers, and that's if the running back blocks, so it's really five on seven five on six that's why i like the blitz and everybody else is manned up like i said if that running back releases and get him if he doesn't boom easy so if a running back ran a little route like that i would kind of like this bait over the middle first then i'll run to him because i know they ain't gonna throw a little swing pass but a flat route would be different see now you got to watch him i'm taking the or, the cpu can't even throw on it so imagine if I'm playing somebody like an Eclipse I already did, and they're just panicking, throwing picks, giving you just free cookies. You just got, like I said, you just got to know how to adjust this run, RPO. Boom. Light it up. Now, depending on the situation, this looks like an obvious run formation. So I would slant my D-line over here because the running back is on the right. So I would think he's going to run the ball to the left, or you could just pinch it. And make sure you bring them folks down. Get back right here. And if something like this, I wouldn't put him into the line of scrimmage because I don't want to get blocked. So I would sit right here and just read it out. You got the motion. It's going to put me on him probably. I don't know then. It's, hey, I'm telling you. It's, it's just simple things that will win y'all boys more games. And this, this low key, if I was a, uh, on offense, I would think this is like a cover three look. So I would keep it like this instead of bringing that safety down. Ooh, 
I'll try the heating. That's one pass he completed. How many plays? Just bring it down. If y'all boys, like, if, if they're running heavy, like I said, you could shift them over, slant through the line. You could even use him right here and just sit right here. Depending on how, like I said, it just depends on how your opponent plays. <coughs> bless me. Y'all boys better bless me in the chat. <coughs> then five wide like this, I would use this blitzer to sit in the same place. My reads on this. I will look at the left side first just so I make sure you don't want to slant because that's where it's open at. So I will go here. Then Harry can come back across and get that pick. So I'm giving y'all boys tips on how to use it too. So it's like this. <sighs> Nothing's there. Watch the middle. Now we're going to sit here. Boom. I'm t bro, this defense is clamps. <laughs> and it may look like you could run on this easy, but I promise y'all boys, you just have to bring your players down like this and them boys are not running on it. Let's see what I do here if they run. Easy. You're getting sacks every time. But if this video helped, man, make sure y'all boys drop a like. Make sure y'all boys follow. And like I said, if y'all boys are part of the Get Live crew, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. But if y'all boys need any more help with anything else, just drop it in the comments and I will make a video on it, either on my TikTok, which is Get Live Mar, or my YouTube. But I'm out, y'all boys.